<laughs> and try to sell it, you know. And um, so my brother was kind of the king of it uh, when I was growing up. And uh, he used to have his raincoat and he used to go off to sort of Salford or somewhere exotic, you know. <laughs> and um, and uh, hide his, his recorder under his raincoat and record the Smiths and the Cure and, you know, all those kind of alternate bands that, you know, that were kind of like indie at the time and now are kind of like heroes. And, uh, but all these bands, and so he'd come back uh, in the middle of the night on a, on a coach, and I'd, I'd, I learned to play guitar that way, because uh, he'd have these cassettes, and uh, um, so I knew people's records, of course, but when you heard somebody um, make mistakes, that's when you really learn. You know, when you hear what people actually are like, you know, in real life and how they improvise, which was really key to um, my understanding of music, New Order in particular. Um, who I love, and, um, but they, you know, for an electronic band, they, they improvised an awful lot because the machines didn't work. <laughs> so anyway, that's another story altogether. But, um, but anyway, my brother was the king of it, and uh, he used to have stalls in Camden Market, and on the Saturdays and Sundays, I used to go up there and help him out, and we used to stand there and sell tapes. Um, so I learned from people um, pirating music. As it was <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember that? Remember when pirating music was a bad thing? You know, <laughs> now it's just give the fucking thing away. Um, so um, anyway, so it quite so basically, it, it, I hate it when people do that thing where it's like, oh, you know, to my concert, you know, you're gonna put your phone in a bag, you know, because I don't want you to be disturbing the, you know, the ambience of my concert. I hate all that. Uh, if if you're recording my concert. I'm so flattered. <laughs> I, I, feel, I think it's so great, and quite frankly, I'll be the first to go and have a listen and think, oh, that was good. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so uh, that's a long story, but yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> you find, I don't really mind. I'm so lucky at this point to be here still, you know, that um, I don't mind what people do. You know, <laughs> just like you enjoy yourself. I am. <laughs> keeps going. <laughs> okay. I wrote this song about the same time as that, the other one. That seemed like about an hour ago. I should shut up, shouldn't I? <laughs> oh, no tune up. What happened there? Whoa, am I? Well, well, there's an interesting turn. <laughs> Turns out you've been getting the hunky baritone version of me all night. <laughs> so I've been tuned down the semitone. You can, you know, talk amongst yourselves when I'm tuning. <laughs> uh, you know, fine. You know, get your phone out, send some emails, do something. It's fine. Or you can record me tuning up and then um, get that on YouTube. <laughs> Sorry about this. I'll be, I'll be there with you in a second. Um, I, I've, I've tried to work out if I can tell jokes whilst tuning, and it gets messy. That'll do. Well, these days are wasting away. The can. Stay. 
Well, I know I've gone in love with the times For you to be mine You to be mine I tried to believe what she said She won't change If you just stay